Hi, hello, welcome to our Kavis Pharma Topic channel. Today we are going to discuss about the what are the problems involved in dispensing the problems. In dispensing the problems, one of the problems are efflorescent powders. Now, we will talk about the topic of efflorescent powder. That is the topic of efflorescent powder. That is the topic of efflorescent powder. If you are watching our channel, subscribe to our channel. Then, you can click on the bell icon and click on the bell icon. Then, we will see you in the next video. So, let's go to the next video. Efflorescent powders. In efflorescent powders, some crystalline substances liberate the water of crystallization wholly or partly on exposure to humid atmosphere or during trituration and this become wet or liquefied. Examples of such substances include caffeine, citric acids, ferrous sulfate, etc. The difficulty may be overcome by using corresponding anhydrase salt or an inert substance may be mixed with the efflorescent substance before incorporating with other ingredients. The problems pertaining to efflorescent powders include water liberated when the drug or chemical is triturated may cause the powders to become damp or pasty. If the water is released to the atmosphere because of low relative humidity, the drug loses its crystallinity and becomes the powdery. Water of hydration is given off. The given weight of the resulting powders no longer contains the same amount of the drug. Hence, strategies for handling efflorescent powders include the storage and dispense of these powders in airtight container. The anhydrase form of the drug may be substituted for the hydrate, but be sure to make appropriate dose correction. Efflorescent powder in insulate, we will Efflorescent powder is one of the crystalline substance and water of crystallization is liberated. That is why we have to sometimes during trituration we have to liberate it. So, we have to change a wet or liquefied substance. For example, included caffeine, citric acid and ferrous sulfate. For example, we have to change a caffeine, citric acid and ferrous sulfate. One of the crystalline substance is water of crystallization liberate agu as sometimes when the trituration time la vandu nadakku so so that beta or liquefied substance vandu change aayiru examples vandu caffeine citric acids and ferrous sulfate idu eppadi vandu nam overcome panni varalam adoda remedy enna nu paathom appadina these difficulties which is overcome by using either corresponding anhydrase salt or inert substance by using and the mari substance kuda nama vandu anhydrase salt illa appadina edavadhu or inert substance vandu add panni adha vandu overcome panni varalam next adutha enna overcome method remedy nu paatha appadina mixed with efflorescent powders before incorporated with any other ingredients okay ipo vandu एफ्लोर एफ्लोरेसेंट पाउडर मिक्स पन्दर तक मुनादी हम इन दमारे सब्सटेंसेस आठ पन्दर तक कपरे एफ्लोरेसेंट पाउडर बन्दे मिक्स पन्दनो आधे लंदे बन्दे इन ओवर कंपनी वरला दिस और रेमेडीज़ फॉर एफ्लोरेसेंट पाउडर्स दिस डिफिकल्टीज व्हिच इज़ ओवरकम बाय यूजिंग एडर करेस्पोंडिंग एंड पाउडर वंदे ना मैं इपरे हैंडल पनों नो अपडी ना अनहाइड्रेस फॉर्म ऑफ़ द ड्रग गा वंदे मैं बी सब्सट्यूटर फॉर द हाइड्रेट एंड आल्सो ना मैं इंदा पंद मरी पाउडर से लामे आटाइट कंटेनर लदा वंदे ना मैं डिस्पेंस पनों नो दिस और ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट ए फ्लोरोसेंट पाउडर्स फिर स इन दसी ला ड्रग्स से लामी इन दमारे सिट्रेन सिट्रिक एसिड सो नम एप्परी ओवरकम पन्नी वरला ओके कंडी पंगल के इन द वीडियो पुरचर को नानी करें इधर वरी कुंग कविस पामो टॉपिक चैनल का सब्सक्राइब पन लेना कंडी पा सब्सक्राइब पन कोंगे इन द वीडियो उंगल के पुरचर मिशन लाइक पन गा शेयर पन गा सब्सक्राइब पन गा थैंक यू फॉर 